country to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I will do my best to do my duty to guide my country in the way we have all, in the public and at all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and always straight. When Memorial Day was originally called Decoration Day, it's a day of remembrance for those who have died in our nation's service. It began shortly after the Civil War for the purpose of reconciliation. It was about coming together to honor those who gave their all. Now behind me is the Veterans Memorial. The boys want to join the crowd. <laughs> behind me is the Veterans Memorial. And the person responsible for this Veterans Memorial is Mr. Jim Robbins. He needs applause. very hard uh, on this. This was a vision of his, and he's going to tell us now uh, what is on it. Okay, I know some of you were here last year, and I made very granite and painful state of Vermont. It measures 22 feet in length, and is 10 inches in depth or thickness, and is 5 foot 4 in height. As you can see for yourself, it consists of five panels, each with a branch of service there upon it. During World War III, there was another branch of service called the U.S. Army Air Corps. In 1947, the U.S. Air Force absorbed the Army Air Corps. We decided against the additional panel to the Army Air Corps because of additional expense. I will show you the Air Corps. Air Corps patch, which is, it looks like this, but that was a separate branch of the service during World War II. Some of your fathers or grandfathers may have been with the Army Air Corps. The cost of the monument was $33,000, including the two meditation benches. Overall, the entire pro project with grip work, bushes, and electrical work was $62,000. All the money from the monument came from donations from Libertyville citizens and organizations. Lakeside Cemetery Association donated the land for the monument at a cost of $30,000. In a moment, I'd like to read a letter from the students at Oak Grove School.